Hey guys, Prince Medic is here. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the 10 most repeated chemistry topics in jam chemistry, ultimately saving you time and guaranteeing you success in your exam. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. The first is a periodic table. You mustn't know all the elements there are in chemistry, but at least you should know the first 20 elements. If you don't, you're committing a chemistry sin. Chemistry sin? Don't mind me, I just made that up. But you should know the first 20 elements, I'm serious. In addition, you should know the trends across the periods and across the groups. Know the names of these groups. Group 1 are called alkali metals. Group 2, alkali earth metals. Group 3 is the first group of transition elements. Group 4 is the second group of transition elements. Group 5 are called the nectogens. Group 6, the chalcogens. Group 7, the halogens. Group 8 or group 0, depending on the test group you're using, are called noble gases or rare gases. Tedious, right? It's very, very important. The second is gas laws. We should know Gay-Lussac's law of combining volumes, Dalton's law of partial pressure, you should know Boyce's law, Tau's law, general gas equation, ideal gas equation, know the saturated vapor pressure, know the standard temperature and the standard pressure, very very important. To test yourself, attempt the question you see on the screen and leave the answer in the comment section. Can you guess the next topic? A little clue for you, it has to do with bombs it has to do with what happens in the sun is related to Einstein theory of relativity pause this video and tell me what you think i'm trying to talk about in the comment section if you answer the radioactivity you're right let us explore this topic in its entirety in radioactivity you should know what radioactivity is all about how it was found background rays know the difference between alpha rays beta rays and gamma rays also no x-rays. Know the difference between nuclear fission and nuclear fission. Know about decay of radioactive elements. And very, very importantly, know how to calculate when an element decays and give rise to another element. Damp usually sets questions from this. If you think you already know this, attempt the question you see on your screen. The next is acid, bases, and salt. Have you seen anybody an acid was poured upon? How beautiful was this skin? No, I'm joking, please. Let's go back. Acids, you should know the definition of acids. You should know the definition of a base, definition of salt. Know the concept of basicity, replaceable hydrogen ions. Know the types of salts we have and the examples, very, very important. For example, you might be asked, give an example of a complex salt. You might be given a list of several salts to choose from. Know the concept of water of crystallization, the fluorescence, the liquescence, and hygroscopy. With their examples, very, very important. And know the indicators we have for acids, naphthalene, methyl orange, litmus paper, and their colors in each pH. Very, very important. If you think you already know all of this, attend the question you see on the screen. And as well, leave your answer in the comment section. The fifth is oxidation number and IUPAC nomenclature. Here you should understand the concept of oxidation number, how to calculate it for compounds. You should know the rules IUPAC has stated for naming compounds, both organic and inorganic chemistry. For example, H2SO4 is called tetraoxysulfate 6 acid because of the rules stated by IUPAC. So please bear this in mind because this will help you to name compound effortlessly. Energy. The next is energy change, rates of reactions and chemical equilibrium. In any change, you should know the difference between endothermic and exothermic reactions. Very, very important. And how to calculate the energy change in reactions. Know collusion theory. Know the factors that affect rates of reaction. Know the factors that influence the equilibrium constant. Very, very important. Having said all of this, attempt the question on your screen and leave your answer in the comment section below.
The next is mass and volume relationship in reactions. This is the calculative aspect of chemistry and is very very important. It involves stoichiometry, which is a quantitative study of the relationship between reactants and products. So pay close attention to this. This formula is indispensable. Amount times molar mass is equal to reactant mass. Please pay close attention to this. Attempt the question on your screen to test your preparedness. Coming up next are the three last topics I consider very, very important. In addition, I'll be giving you mnemonics where necessary to remember the high yield points. Consequently, helping you to score high in your jump chemistry. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The A is atomic structure and chemical combination. Here you should know the particles in an atom, the neutron, the electron, and the proton. You should by now have known that the electron is located around the shell of an atom, the proton and the neutron in the nucleus. You should know those that discovered these particles. Electron by J.J. Thompson, proton by Rutherford, Chadwick discovered neutron. Pay close attention to this. You can as well call proton number plus neutron number mass number or you can call it nuclear number. We have the SPDF. S means sharp. P means principle, D means diffuse, F means fundamental. Pay close attention to their meanings. And you should know the laws or rules or principles that guide the feeling of this electron in orbitals. One is Horn's rule, two is Abbaugh's principle, three is Pauli exclusion principle. A way to remember Horn's rule, you can remember by Horn's bearing. Abbaugh's principle, you can remember by Abbaugh's rising. And finally, Pauli exclusion principle which in an extent it's self-explanatory. In addition, know the shapes of these orbitals, very, very important. Know the shapes of molecules too. Know the stents and you find several questions in jam quite easy. If you think you're conversant with these already, attempt the question on your screen. The ninth is electrolysis. You should get conversant with Faraday's first and second law. Understand the concept of electrolysis in its entirety. You should know the difference between cathode and anode. Know the difference between cation and anion. Know the fluids, the electrolytes that are required in each situation. You should as well know the concept of electrolysis in its entirety. Know Leclanche's cell, Daniel's cell, lead acid accumulator, and everything that pertains to electrolysis. It will go a long way to help you in your exam. Mark me for that. In addition, answer the question on your screen. The last is organic chemistry. This topic is very, very broad. In fact, I shouldn't have made it one topic, but I decided to because of time. Here you should know homologous series. You should know functional groups. You should know the difference between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. You should know cracking. You should know reforming. You should know the chemical and physical properties of organic compounds. You should know saponification. Very, very important. And as much as you can about organic chemistry, try to know them. And very, very importantly, learn how to name compounds. Organic compounds to be precise. Do this and you see yourself smiling all through your exam. Attempt the organic chemistry question on your screen and leave your answer in the comment section below. Thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. I believe you enjoyed this video and I know it is impactful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.